Hello my dear YouTuber friends and I do hope you're all keeping well. Welcome to this new video. Now don't be afraid of reinstalling, uninstalling then reinstalling Flight Sim 2024 or even Flight Sim 2020 if you're getting performance issues. So if you're getting large stutters or stutters more often than you would than you normally get with either sim. Don't be afraid of uninstalling then reinstalling the whole package. In this video I'm going to show you how you can do that just in case you're a little bit worried about that. To give you a bit of a backstory with, with, with me, I upgraded my GPU this year, a few months ago, and my CPU more recently. I didn't reinstall Flight Sim 2020 or Flight Sim 2024 when I did that and I was getting performance issues in both. Actually more so in Flight Sim 2020 surprisingly. So I actually went ahead and reinstalled the whole package on that as well. This is Flight Sim 2024. I was getting more stutters than usual so I just decided to reinstall, uninstall and reinstall and it was quite easy in fact, easier to do in Flight Sim 2024. So I'm going to guide you through that. Could also be as well that with Flight Sim 2024, I don't remember the last time I uninstalled and reinstalled it. Don't remember, could be could be since, it, since launch, uh, a whole year perhaps, a year has passed now since it has launched. I don't re remember actually uninstalling it and you know I've gone in and out of betas or betas with it uh, new sim updates I've just uh, uninstalled them over the base package so after a while the, the programs essentially can get a little bit confused and a little bit slow and stuttery you might be best just uninstalling and reinstalling them anyway that's the premise of the video let me show you, just in case you don't know, how to uninstall and reinstall both simulators. Okay, so over on Xbox, either Xbox Series X or S, uh, for Flight Sim 2020 or Flight Sim 2024, press your options button, it's to the right of the big X in the middle of your gamepad with the two screens. Press your option button and then you just go to uninstall all. And again, that's Flight Sim 2024. This is Flight Sim 2020. I'll do the same there. Uninstall all. If you're having performance issues, if your sim is stuttering on the Series S or X, or it's less, it's less impressive than it was when you first installed it, maybe you just need to do a reinstall. And that's all you need to do. Uninstall it, reinstall it, and then reinstall uh, with Flight Sim 2020 in particular, all your things from the, your content. So, you know, things like uh, world updates, uh, add-on scenery, add-on aircraft, that type of thing. With Flight Sim 2024 shape, they should be streamed across on the Xbox. So you just need to reinstall the sim and off you go. So on PC, let's start with Steam first. All you do is open your Steam page. This is Flight Sim 2020. That's why I own 2020 on Steam. I own 2024 on the store, which I'll show you later. But all you do here is right click on Flight Sim 2020. Just wait before you do this. There's another step and go to manage and uninstall. So I'm sure you all know that if you own Steam. Right click, manage, uninstall. Before you do that, if you have items in your community folder, you can see that I've got, this is my where my community folder lies. Yours may be different, yours may be default. I'm going to put the default paths down below in the description of this video. You want to go to your community folder. It's not a matter of renaming it. Remember, you're uninstalling now. So you want to move your community folder. You can even go right click. So click on your community folder, right click, cut. 
and then go and paste it to another drive somewhere or another place and then add it in later. In my opinion, I see I've only got a couple of things in there at the moment because what I did, I uninstalled everything just so I had a completely clean reinstall. Now, depending how big your community folder is, if it's massive, you don't want to do that. It's something you, you've not uninstalled Flight Sim because you've got, you've got a large community folder. Uh, copy it. So go back, copy the community folder, cut it rather, cut it out of here, paste it somewhere else, and then you can add it back in bit by bit. If you've got a massive one, I wouldn't just whack it back in your community folder once you've reinstalled. I'll do it bit by bit to make sure there's no sort of nothing interfering with Flight Sim, slowing it down. I would still recommend actually just uninstalling everything. So you see I've got my 182G livery there, 182RG livery. I just removed that. I've got it copied elsewhere on my hard drive and then reinstalled it. If you're using things like Orbix Central, uh, there you go. I've got uh, Flight Simulator. You know, you can change between Flight Sim 2024 or Flight Sim 2020 there. This is my Flight Sim 2020 install files. I've only got one thing installed at the moment. But I just clicked on each one and uninstalled. So if I click on North there, I can uninstall it for this and just uninstall. There you go. It's uninstalled. So now if I go back to my community folder, I've only got that 182RG. And I can just right click on that, delete and then uninstall Flight Sim from Steam, if you're using it on Steam or Flight Sim 2024. And then you can just basically re download everything. It will take me moments to re download. In fact, I'm going to re download that now. Uh, and it will just take me. It'll take me a matter of uh, moments, maybe maybe five minutes to reinstall each of these. So it's not a big thing, and that's the way I would recommend. So now let's talk about the store. Now what you don't want to do is go to the store. Let's just open this. Uh, go to library. You can't uninstall it from the store. And I think people get confused about this. What you have to do in this search bar down here, it should be the same for Windows 10, 11. Just go to settings. Just type in settings and settings will come up. And what you want to do is go to apps. So in settings, go to apps and go to installed apps. And it will populate all your installed apps. And what you can do, just scroll down so you see Microsoft Flight Simulator. Microsoft Flight Sim 2020, Microsoft Flight Sim 2024. Those three dots here, more options. So once again, settings, apps, and it will populate all your apps. Scroll down so you see Microsoft. So it's under M, Flight Sim 2024 or Flight Sim 2020, if you own that on the store, and go to uninstall. Before you do that, my friends, same again. Go to your community folder, either Find it, locate it if you've got things installed in there. If you have, you know where it is. Uh, either cut it out and put it into a different place. For me, I just did a fresh uninstall. I've got a couple of things in there now. So again, things like Orbits, I just clicked on each of these things and uninstalled them. I've got North installed at the moment and my Cessna 182 RG livery in my community folder. But uninstall all or move your community folder, move it completely and then where is it? Settings, apps, uninstall it from here. And then of course with both of them, reinstall after you've done that. You reinstall from the store. So did I close down the store? So once I've uninstalled it, I'll go to the store just to complete this. Uh, go to gaming, usually fine. You can either type it in that top there, flight simulator. Uh, most popular games. It's still one of the most popular games on Game, Game Pass, not surprisingly. And then, you know, you click on it. I've got it installed, but if I didn't have it installed, it would just say install. And then you reinstall it. Once you've done that, you should be golden. And so there you go. With that done, hopefully your performance should improve. It certainly has for me. I'm in Flight Sim 2020 at the moment. And reinstalling the whole thing really did help. Just a word of warning there. Flight Sim 2024 is no bother. 
took me about 30 minutes all in to honest if that uninstall it then reinstall it like sim 2020 of course is a different matter you've got to install the whole package which is over 100 gigabytes i believe uh, back onto your hard drive give yourself a free afternoon i set it off maybe about 12 p.m it was ready by 4 5 p.m and then you have to reinstall things like world updates in flight sim 2020 uh, this is J the japan world update i had i had to reinstall that i did the uk world update and a couple of others within the sim so it does take a lot longer flight sim 2020 just be aware but like i said with me now with doing that it's really helped with the stutters i don't seem to be getting touch wood a great many with either sim at the moment and performance has improved give it a go if you're having performance issues how long will this last well we'll see i mean there'll, there'll be more sim updates coming more world updates coming with both sims and you know if i start to get performance issues with either down the line i'll probably just do the same thing because it really does help let me know how you get on if you decide to do this. Give the video a like if you've enjoyed it. Subscribe for more. And I'll see you soon.